The new high quality option for the depth of field in the viewport is another great new addition. Here I'm having a cycles rendered preview of a very simple scene and I want you to take a look at the face of Susan behind the girders because it's in focus and that's because the focal point is her nose. I've set it with an empty. Now, when I go to material view and turn on depth of field in the viewport, which you can do in the properties panel, then you see that everything is blurred. And here is a part that is sharp and actually one of the girders appears to be uh, differently shaded. Maybe it's sharp, but it's really not a good representation of what you have just seen in Cycles. And that's why the developers have added a new option for depth of field and that is high quality. You can't have it here, but you need to go to the camera settings. So select the camera, go to camera settings down there in depth of field, there is this new option, high quality. And when I turn it on, now you see that Susan's face is in focus and this object is a little out of focus. So this is now very close to what we have seen in the cycles render preview, even though you still see some problems like here that the girders are not completely blurred, but more like overlaid with a blurred version of themselves. So it's not perfect, but it's way better than the old depth of field. And it has an option for blades. The default is zero, which basically means that any kind of bouquet is round. And for this, I've added a small dot up here. And even when you see that I'm zooming in that you, then you also see that the um, bouquet becomes smaller. So another reason why this stuff of field, of course, is in no way realistic because that shouldn't happen. So in order to show you the blades, I need to increase the out of focusness. So I have to decrease the f-stop. And um, let's do it like this. And now you see here, this dot is rounded, but when I go to three blades, it should become a triangle and it does. So three blades, a triangle, four blades, a square, five blades, a pentagon and so on. And so on. So we can cycle through all different kinds of shapes of yeah, polygons. Another thing I'd like to show you is the new setting of um, Simplify, because this object here, it's looking kind of cool, but it has a six level subdivision surface modifier applied. And that's why it has actually roughly like three million or something faces. And this will not only slow down the viewport, as you can see here at the moment, but it will also slow down rendering. And if you're, you're rendering on the GPU, this real kind of ultra big objects might not even fit into your video memory. And that's why the simplify option has been split between viewport and render. Simplify basically means that the maximum subdivision level can be set here globally. And so you see when I'm in decreasing it, also this object here, um, the subdivision levels is decreased here and also here behind there on Susa. But now I can do the same thing for render. So let me turn the subdivision level down to one and see how this is looking in the render. So render, render image. And you see, we didn't really need it because the, this object here is out of focus and so sound behind the girders, we don't see so much, so many details. So uh, we didn't really need this high levels of subdivisions. Oh, and by the way, Simplify also works with child particles, which is also very cool and very handy.